Welcome in, welcome back every day, cooking dad, cooking every day. Today we're doing lamb chops. It's Monday. We got Brussels sprouts and broccoli. We're gonna have a yellow bell pepper we're gonna add to that. And then we're gonna do a fried smash potato. So as we get started here, we're gonna wash our meat off. And we're not washing it off because it's dirty. We're just washing it off to get rid of the, any gristle. It's not good. It needs to be chewing on uh, little chards of bone. Once we have these all cleaned up, you know, I decided to treat them just like a steak. Salt them up. You know, let the salt pull the moisture up out of the meat. And then it'll absorb back into the meat. Just another layer of flavor. It's going to take us about 30 minutes, 35 minutes before we're ready to put the uh, meat on the grill. And that gives us just enough time to let these lamb chops season up. We're going to be cooking them on a Weber kettle grill outside. So now we move on to our Brussels sprouts and broccoli and yellow bell pepper. These Brussels sprouts are on a little small side. So just going to take the tip off and then cut them in half. Try not to disturb the leaves so leaves don't get all over the place. And we're going to be cooking these vegetables out on the pit boss on our pellet grill. So we're going to get them charred up on one side and then give them a quick toss. So we're going to cut our broccoli roughly into the same size. So they cook up at buff roughly the same time. So we're also going to um, season these up with your favorite seasoning. I'm using Creole seasoning. You can use just salt and pepper here. Now we're going to use some avocado oil. It gives a chance for the seasoning to stick to the uh, broccoli and the Brussels sprouts. But there's a second reason. We're going to take these out on the pit boss and we're going to be cooking them at 450 degrees and that avocado oil is a high temperature oil so in with your seasoning and then this is going to get a good toss and we're going to take these and let them sit for a few minutes while we get the grill up to temp as you can see we got the grill set to 450 we're at 433 we still got a little bit to go before the grill is up to temp All right, so now we're gonna get our potatoes going. So we're still a few minutes away from uh, this meal being done. We're probably about 20, 25 minutes away. So in with our uh, potatoes. Now once these are finished boiling and they're nice and soft on the inside, we're gonna give them a nice smash and then we're gonna fry them up. Give them a little crispy on the outside. I got a little impatient. So in, in we go with our veggies. And we're gonna try and get some of the flat sides facing down. Try and do this as quick as we can. We don't wanna lose all our heat. So over with the Brussels sprouts, over with the broccoli, get them on the flat side. So we get a nice char at one side. You know, putting that char on the Brussels sprouts, you know, makes them taste a little bit better. They're not a little funky as um, if you just steam them. Just heat up whatever you're going to cook them on and then put it down. Brussels sprouts will come out great. All right, so now we're getting ready to grill up our uh, lamb chops. So we're using the Kingsford Professional. We got that out of Costco. It's supposed to burn hotter, burn longer. So we went down with one layer of charcoal. Um, I didn't want to waste too much. And we don't want our grill to get too hot because you don't want to burn the lamb chops. So we're kind of grilling and then we're using an indirect method. One side has charcoal, the other side doesn't. So when we bring the lamb chops out, we're going to put them off on the cold side and do the uh, reverse sear, semi reverse sear. Look at our vegetables, getting good love, getting all that smoke. They're going to be good. All right, we're back inside. Gonna give our potatoes a quick check. It's probably been about mm, 
10 minutes or so. Not quite there yet. No, I'll, even though when we fry them, we're going to be cook them up a little bit. I'll, but I want them nice and um, nice and soft. All right, we're going to go ahead and light our grill up. Yep. We're losing lighter fluid. All the barbecue purists are probably a little upset right now. But the lighter fluid, I've never tasted light fluid. Because I let my charcoals get red hot before I get started. So all the lighter fluid is burnt off. All right, while our girls getting ready, we're going to give our vegetables a quick toss. See how they char it up on one side? That's flavor. That's delicious. All right, we're going to give these a quick toss. They're just about done, really. We'll get whatever smoke or char we can get on this side. You know, guys, this is all like a real-time cook. I'm just cutting out most of it. So this is taking me about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. And look at our meat. You see how the salt is dissolved. Our meat has a little shine to it. That's the salt doing its job. So our meat is done. Our meat is ready. And now it's time to go ahead and season up the lamb. So I'm going in with this Greek seasoning. Now this guys is where you get individual you do what you do but this greek seasoning is pretty good and then i'm just going to hit it up with some um granulated garlic and that's it we want the flavor of the lamb to shine and it loves garlic now greek seasoning i'm pretty sure has uh, garlic in it so we're gonna season both sides and then get ready to go outside see how our charcoal it's red hot. We didn't oil our meat. We didn't put oil on our meat. So we're going to oil down our grill. So the meat doesn't stick. And to get a little bit of the uh, soot off the grates. So in with our meat. And we're doing that little bit of an indirect. A reverse sear. Now we move on to our potatoes. Give them a little push. They, they're going to feel like they pop. And these are hot. I probably should have let them cool off a little. But we got to get dinner, dinner done. Give them a little push. They pop. All right, so we're done. We're going to salt these up. And that's it for the potatoes. And here is our veggies. Now, I decided to hit them up with a little bit more Creole seasoning. And then off they come. Guys, if you have a pellet grill, you got to grill your veggies. And there you go. I can just eat that with some white rice. I'll be good. All right, let's turn our attention to the uh, star of the show, the lamb chops. You see how the blood is pushed up a little bit? So now it's time to grill. Flip and grill. This is the fun part here. Now, since we didn't pile up a charcoal, and we just have like one layer. We don't have to worry about flames kicking up or the grill getting too hot and burning our meat. And it's just just right. So as we let these grill, we flip, we turn. Everybody gets their chance over the fire. Now it's gonna take about 20 minutes 25 minutes to grill these up give them a little color on one side flip them give them a little color on the other side let everybody get a little bit of love go a little bit indirect you got to be patient here you don't want to have a hot grill and then the meat's nice color and on the outside but then when you go to cut it it's all you know raw on the inside 
So again, indirect, we're gonna go five minutes, 10 minutes. We come back and we're gonna give them a little bit more color. Just gotta stay patient. Now, I did fast forward this a little bit. Uh, you know, I, I pretty much did this, put them in direct, wait five, 10 minutes. And this is it. They're pretty much done here. They got great color. I did temp them. They're at about 168. A couple of them a little bit higher than that, like that small one there. But we're going to take these inside. We're going to let them rest. Five. Mm, look at that. Mm. Oh, that is. You know, guys, that, that was good. That was real good. I, I enjoyed these. And they're more like steaks, mini steaks, lamb steaks, than they are lamb chops. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, so, I, you know, I admire that meat. That Oh, that's good. All right, so we're going to move inside. We're in a home run stretch here. All right, our oil is hot, and in we go. We're using vegetable oil here. So in we go with our potatoes, while smash now fried potatoes. And we're gonna let that go on one side and let these cook till they're golden brown. It's just a dumb, a different way to eat potatoes. Um, this is my starch for the day. Pretty much the only starch I've had. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and have my potatoes. Guys, this is a great way, a different spin on cooking potatoes. Not quite french fries. Not quite potatoes, you know, cooked potatoes. Or should I say boiled potatoes? This is our end result. The little ones, the little ones are the best. Look at that. Nice and crunchy. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and plate this up. Yes, I'm using paper plates. This is cooking every day, guys. Going with our vegetables. And there's a star to show. The lamb chop. All right, it's time for the flyover. Nice. This was good. Mm, this was delicious. This is a dad cooking every day. This is a dad doing his thing every day. Every day cooking, dad cooking every day. Like and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by, guys.